Hey, thanks for tuning in and watching my video. If you've never seen one of my videos before then, hello. And if you have seen one of my videos before then, welcome back. I'm Jed and I run a gym down in Winnington, RA Fitness, and I also do online transformations for people. As you may have seen in the title for this, today I'm going to talk about using advanced techniques when you're just a beginner and why that's such a bad idea. What people don't realise is that the advanced techniques that they try to adopt too early on in their training programme will yield them the least results. If you haven't got the basics down to a T, there is no point trying to really trying to bring in a more advanced technique because the basics is where most of the work is going to be done. 80% of what you're going to achieve is going to be by mastering the basics. Once you start looking at advanced techniques, what you don't realise is the advanced techniques have a, have a, a smaller yield on the return of investment. So if we look at, let's say, uh, weight training, if you haven't got the very, very basic movements and haven't done the very basic the beginning of the training, you haven't done the time in the trenches, building in a good movement pattern, getting the neurological adaptations, which is a mind-muscle link. Starting to use a very advanced training program is going to really not get you any results. It will get you marginal results because that's what advanced training programs do. They get you marginal gains. For somebody who's using a very, so somebody using very advanced weightlifting techniques, for instance, is looking to gain a very small percentage, put that into an Olympic cycle. A high-end Olympic weightlifter could only be looking at gaining five kilograms on their total, which is both lifts, in four years. Somebody at the very beginning of a weightlifting program should almost be putting on five kilograms on their total every week just by having the basics nailed down. The same goes for diet and looking at more advanced dieting techniques and more advanced nutrition protocols when you haven't got the very basics in place. Again, it's only going to yield you limited results. If you're not meal planning, sticking to that meal plan week on week and habitualising that, then trying to go low carb, keto, I don't know, using the advanced dieting techniques that are out there is probably not going to get you anywhere. You're probably not going to need to calorie count at the beginning. The most fundamental part is meal planning, sticking to the meal plan, reducing your snacks. If you drink a lot of sugary drinks, get them out of your diet. And then once the basics stop yielding the results, that's when we start looking at more advanced protocols, more advanced techniques. So, today's takeaway <laughs> is really, before you start looking advanced, learn to master the basics. I'll quickly tell you about an experience I had where I was invited to watch the World Grappling Championships. And I went because I was expecting to see something fantastic. I was expecting to see some high manoeuvres that I would never ever have seen before. And the thing that surprised me was the most advanced uh, grapplers in the world didn't use fancy techniques. They didn't use the things that I was expecting. What they did was the basics to perfection. So if the best in the world are using the basics to perfection, why do you need to use advanced techniques at the beginning. A little food for thought there. Thanks very much for tuning in. See ya.